everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to try to explain the difference between layers and images in programs like GIMP and Photoshop for you so that you get a better understanding of that. So in this document, I have one single image, and that is what you see on screen. Everything you see before you and the bounds uh, basically represented by these dashed yellow lines on the side, and that is the image we're talking about. It's the entire document composed as one single object and that object we export as a PNG or a .jpg or some other image format for displaying in other sources. I don't know, Facebook, what, wherever you want to post your images. And over here in the layers window, which you should have on the right by default, but you can recover by going to Windows Recently Closed Docs or Dockable Dialogs to make it pop up if you don't have it. You'll notice that the image is broken up it's separated into five different sections now by default you only have one layer in your image but people who generally work with these programs a lot find that it's very very helpful uh, to break your image up into different sections and the reason for this is that if your document is broken up into different layers different sections you can interact with part of your document um, in a way make changes to that without destroying the work that you did on other segments so in other words if you need to delete an uh, a single layer it's not going to reduce or harm the work that you did on other layers and by doing that um, it can save you a lot of hassle later on especially when you're talking about projects that may be a little bit more complicated than a five minute thing so uh, currently these four layers above the invisible background are the new layer which is this blue line right here the top layer, which is this black box, the red layer, which is this uh, middle section, or the middle section, which is this red box, and the bottom box, which is green. So uh, these are all separate elements of the document, and for the most part, they don't really interact with each other, uh, with the exception, really, that depending on the hierarchy you have set up here, uh, one may show over the other layers so you can kind of think of it like layers of a cake and that part of the cake is going to be on top of the other cake so behind this black box there's actually extra red box but you can't see that because the black layer is higher than the middle layer it's the top section of the cake and you can see when i hide the top layer that the hidden red middle section gets revealed um, so that's one thing to note in terms of uh, layer hierarchies. It can play a role in more serious image documents, but we'll get into that another time. Um, but with this blue line here, I want to demonstrate something for you, and that's concerning the layer and image menu. Whenever you're using the layer menu, you're talking about interacting with one single layer, not the whole document. That's what the image menu does. So if I go to a layer and I come down here to transform and flip vertically while I have my new layer selected, which as I mentioned is the blue line, it's only going to flip the blue line and it's going to leave the rest of my document alone. So we go ahead and flip vertically and you see the position of the top, middle and bottom layer didn't change at all. It remained the same and that's really useful to us because what if you want to flip part of your document but you don't want to flip everything? That would be a real pain if you didn't set it up with layers properly ahead of time. Now, if we go over to the image menu, uh, image menu as I mentioned, and we do something like a scale image, then this is going to be affecting everything in the document. It's going to be affecting the image itself. So scale image 125 and we have this link together so it's width and height it's going to increase the size of the width and the height simultaneously and it's going to affect all of the layers in our document as well so when you want to change things at a uh, basically a macro level or a layer th uh, a level that affects everything that's when you go into the image menu so here we'll scale it up. It should take the image and move it over here and down here, but it'll bring the content in these layers along with it. So we'll go ahead and scale. And as you can see, the document did get bigger, but the layers got bigger as well. All the content in the layer was scaled up. So once again, to reiterate, whenever you want to affect everything in the document, go into the image menu. Whenever you want to affect just part of your document or one of your layers, go into the layer menu and make sure that you have the right layer selected for what you want to do. 
So that's a rough rundown of layers versus images inside of GIMP, Photoshop, and any other tool that plays out similar to this. I hope you found this educational. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider donating to the channel, and I'll see you in my future videos.